Good morning, BP. It's Josh here for your morning announcements. Today, I'll be talking about freshman elections, job training, and sports. Let's get into it. It's time for freshman elections this week. The presidential candidate for freshman is Jackson Myers. For vice president, you have Thiago Hidalgo. For secretary, you have Lizzie Medina and Damian Magana. For treasurer, you have Elaine Hugh. And for historian, you have Catalina Brace. Voting will open this Friday for freshmen, so make sure to vote if you can. The application for fall job readiness training and internship program application closes today at 5 p.m. The job readiness training and internship program is for students 8, 15 to 18, and it helps you earn money while exploring your career goals. So if you still want to apply, make sure you do it before it closes. Up first for sports, beach volleyball took on Laguna Blanca, and they were able to come out with the win 3 to 0. On Saturday, boys water polo took on Lucerna, and Jaden Moore helped lead a comeback win over them 11 to 0. Now, here's Aiden Myers with Cross Country. This Saturday, the DP Cross Country team traveled down to Ojai to compete in the 3 mile and the 1.9 mile races. The boys 3 mile race was led by Emin Gordon with a time of 15.53, finishing first in the race, followed by Colin Goley with a time of 16.42. The boys varsity took third overall in the meet. The girls' three mile was led by Vienza Machuco with a time of 20.01, which was a personal best for her by nearly a minute. Eloise Shia finished after Vienza with a time of 20.31. Girls Varsity took second overall in the meet. In the 1.9 mile races, the DP boys took third overall, led by Will Matthews, coming in second in the race with a time of 10.31. The girls' novice team placed first in the 1.9 mile race, led by Sayla Blackwell with a time of 12 minutes. Great job, DP. Reporting for DP News, I'm Ada Myers. Well, that'll be all for today, DP. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Josh Conheim reporting for DP News. Now, before we go, here's a Crumble Cookies package by Ethan Perez, Trevor Cuevas, and Luke Knight. We are currently outside Crumble Cookies Santa Barbara. It opened this Friday and we're here for the grand opening. People have been waiting eagerly for Crumble Cookies to open and as you can tell, everyone's giving them a nice warm welcome. My favorite part of Crumble Cookies is probably how good they are and there are different flavors each week. Recently, my favorite flavor has probably been the s'mores cookie. It's really good and the chocolate chip cookie is definitely basic but really good. They're just so good. I don't know, something about them. And I like the different flavors. Yeah. We didn't get one of these, so I wanted to okay. try it. So the way it works, we are all things cookies, right? And so what we do is we have a rotating menu every week. So every week we got the uh, classic chocolate chip, that's kind of like our staple. And we rotate in a variety of our classic uh, sugar cookie. And then the other four flavors we rotate every single week. And what we do is we announce it every Sunday on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. And so we do that every week. And um, you'll see that the uh, cookies, I had somebody today tell me they're about as big as like their face, you know? So they're big, you know, you come here, you're gonna get a big cookie. The message that we have for the brand is that we're bringing families around the best box of cookies. And so the goal is to bring communities and families back together around, you know, something that everybody can enjoy. Um, our goal coming and set, opening a business here is really we want to be part of the community. You know, not only are we grateful that people show up and we're, we're so grateful for what everybody's done here and showing up, but um, we want to give back and be part of the community and make sure that uh, people know that it's not a faceless brand or organization. For DP News, this has been Trevor Cuevas and thanks for watching.